Hello, this is Al, aka Magna Flipper on YouTube. Magnetic flux spin validation. This little video that I made basically shows, in fact, conclusive proof that magnets generate a helical vortex, a tornado type of a magnetic field that is unknown to science. What I have here is basically a magnet, a chrome plated neodymium magnet sitting in water sitting on a metal plate with a little tiny insulator that's sitting on and what I do is I basically apply a voltage to the side of the magnet okay inducing a a helical vortex like a miniature tornado basically through the gas bubbles that are being generated by the electricity and it's inducing this magnetic flux to be shown uh, by the fra uh, called flame frame dragging off the off the bubbles it's absolutely incredible. This is I don't think you're gonna see this anywhere on YouTube. This is actually conclusive proof that in fact there's another field that magnets produce uh, that is unknown to science that can be actually shown and generated with a very simple and expensive method. This is looks like a tornado being generated like a, like a, like huge tornadoes, but it's being generated by purely uh, by by purely electrical means. Here is, uh, this is basically rot rotating uh, counterclockwise. The other video was, uh, clip was showing clockwise rotation. Uh, it's absolutely incredible. And uh, I hopefully, uh, hopefully you'll be able to duplicate this. It's basically a very simple electrolyzer uh, that can show this effect. Here I reverse the polarity of the magnet. I flipped it upside down and I apply a voltage to it. When I apply a voltage, the helical field is basically spinning clockwise in this area. And um, I have a uh, description of why this, uh, this is shown. Uh, it goes back to the 1980s to, an, um, to a man named Howard Johnson. This is an iron slug here to show to my critics that in fact that uh, the helical field is generated by a magnetic field as opposed to a left and right hand rule of current flow through the wire. You can see that there is no helical spin. This iron slug is the same size and the weight as the neodymium magnet and there is no helical spin at all. So this is to all my critics saying that in fact this is being generated by a uh, magnetic field flow through the wire. This basically here will uh, will show in fact that you can actually do some incredible uh, discoveries based upon this uh, unknown field uh, probably for from anti-gravity to free energy to uh, faster better motors also to weather phenomenon. I mean look at this what you have here is basically a tornado that's being generated on top of a magnet. You can study this in slow motion. You can add particles to it and you have a tornado that you can actually generate right off the bat. And uh, the science is virtually unaware that this magnetic field actually exists. I've never seen this anywhere on YouTube or any type of an explanation of how this happens. This is a slow motion view, and this is about 210 frames that shows, in fact, the bottom of the magnet being uh, generated like in a tornado, and the bubbles begin to form. They're being uh, pulled by the magnetic field uh, as this thing is spinning. And uh, you're going to have a nice, beautiful tornado on top of that. I call it a magnetic vortex. And if you do a search in magnetic vortex, the only thing that's out there is that was discovered by the Germans in the University of Munich in uh, January of this year. And basically, it's revolutionary what they discovered. This only validates the fact that you can actually have a uh, helical spin. And I'm suspecting that the helical spins are everywhere. They're underpinning of the part of the universe that, uh, that, uh, that scientists is talking about. Uh, based upon the devices that you can make upon this is uh, basically healing devices. You can, you can generate a uh, tremendous amount of storage in, uh, in memory cores, in, in memory cards for computers, faster processors, bigger and more powerful motors, and uh, applications just endless. This is really shocking that you can actually induce a magnetic field spin like this in a magnet. Now I'm not sure if this magnet is in fact causing the field or if it is a field that is generated that is that is basically 
made by the magnet and that's not uh, that's not seen by conventional iron filings and uh, flux as conventional science has us believing that in fact it's a static field this is really a dynamic field I'm gonna let you watch this a little bit more and uh, please read the captions toward the end of the video because extremely they're extremely important Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. Please read the captions at the end.